are you Lord? We love you, Jesus. Great are you Lord. He's a mighty God this morning. Great are you Lord. Great are you Lord. Come on and sing, church. Great are you Lord. He is a great God. Great are you, Lord. We love you with everything. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Come on and worship him. Great are you, Lord. You are great. Great are you, Lord. Come on and help me worship him. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Come on and sing it with me, church. Great are you, Lord. You are great. Great are you, Lord. He's a mighty God this morning. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Come on and worship Him. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. We love you, Jesus. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Come on and help me praise Him. Great are you, Lord. He's great. Great are you, Lord. We love you so much, Jesus. Our hearts belong to you this morning, Master. We put our trust in you, Jesus. We love you with everything in us. Minister to your people on this morning. Father, I pray that the Holy Spirit would help your people to see the resurrected Christ this morning. Let them see the nature of the Lord Jesus, the character of the Lord Jesus, how much he loves us and cares about us. Give your people a miracle, a breakthrough, a turnaround, God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Oh, he's great, great are you, Lord, great are you, Lord. Come on, let's sing it to him this morning. Great are you, Lord. Come on, put your hands together and help me sing it. Great are you, Lord. He's a great God. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord? He is a great God. Great are you, Lord? Great are you, Lord? We love you, Master. Great are you, Lord? Great are you, Lord? Come on, help me give him praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's a mighty God. He's a mighty God. Oh, he's a mighty God. He's a mighty God. <laughs> he is a mighty God. Oh, glory to God. Somebody give him praise on this morning. Give him glory. Give him honor. Mandala Babusha. Hallelujah. Mighty God, mighty God. One more time. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. 
<laughs> we love you this morning. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Come on and sing it with me, church. Great are you, Lord. He's a great God on this morning. Great are you, Lord. I love him with everything in me. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. He is a great God. He is a great God. My God, I feel the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. Now listen, I want to take you right into the Word of God on this morning as we talk about God is doing a new thing in you. He's doing a new thing. God is doing a new thing in you. This brings us to our passage of scripture in the book of John chapter 9 verses 1 through 11. The Bible says, and as Jesus passed by, he saw a man which was blind. He saw a man which was blind from his birth. So this was a man born blind. Now you got to understand the Pharisees have Jesus on the run. They're trying to kill him. And Jesus is so compassionate, so loving, so caring, even though he just escaped those who were trying to kill him in the process of running, he passed by a man <laughs> that was born blind. Don't tell me all things don't work together for good. The devil meant it for evil, but God was using it to get Christ right to where he needed to be at that time in his life. So he came across a man who was blind from birth and his disciples asked him saying, Master, who did sin? You know, church folks, they're always ready to pin it on somebody. Who sinned? This man or his parents that he was born blind. And I love Jesus' answer. Jesus said, neither. He blew them away. He just, he just destroyed. He just destroyed their religious mindset. Neither had, had this man sinned, nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in this man's life. This was allowed to happen for a purpose greater than his own that the works of God might be made manifest in him I'm telling you all things work together God knows I mean they they are trying to kill Jesus he is on the run for his life and he he is so compassionate I feel a flow he is so compassionate that in running for his life he sees a man that was born blind and Jesus the Holy Ghost grips him and there's no way he could pass up this opportunity to bring glory to the Father. And Jesus said, I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night is coming, saints, when no man can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. And to us, Jesus said, let your works, let your light shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Now watch this. When he had thus spoken, I'm telling you, he does, Jesus, he's about to do a new thing in you. And you better not say this is the devil. Watch what he did. He, after, when he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground and made clay of the spit with, with clay he, he took the spit and the dirt that was on the ground and made clay out of it and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay rubbed it over both of his eyes smeared it real good spit in dirt this blind man doesn't care he's willing to take the risk all this blind man knows he can't see nothing and he, he just feels like something good about to happen. <laughs> the hands of, when the hands of God, when the hands of God touch you, you know it's the hand of God. I'm telling you, when God's hand, when God lays his hands on you, you don't have a doubt in your mind that this is God. 
He, did, he never saw Jesus a day in his life. He actually didn't even know this was Jesus, but he knew it was something different about this touch. It was something different about this person that was rubbing this stuff on his eyes that he never saw because he never could see a day in his life. He was born blind. And Jesus said unto him, this is the key to your miracle. Jesus said unto him, go wash in the pool of Siloam, which is by interpretation sent. And he went his way therefore and washed and came saying. Now he was blind. So he had to get someone to lead him. He was willing to obey. Even though he didn't know who Jesus was. This, this is faith in action man. Because it could have been anybody just playing the trick on this man. But I just believe he had a feeling that something good was about to happen in his life. God had never done this type of miracle from the beginning of time up until this time. But God wanted to demonstrate his power. So he was about to do it. He was doing a new thing. I said he was doing a new thing. It had never been done like this before. I say God's about to do a new thing in you. He's about to do something that's never been done in your life before. He's about to blow your mind. The Bible says in Ephesians 3.20, Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask or think according to the power that works in us and as that man as they took him over to the pool of Siloam and he began to take the water and wash it over his face and wash the clay from around his eyes he began to begin to peek and it was his first time seeing the light oh my god he began to see people men women boys little girls donkeys camels sheep he began to see for the first time I believe this man shouted, I can see, I can see. Oh my God, he was happy. Because God had given him something new. Everyone else took it for granted. But not this man, because he was born blind. And now this is his first time seeing the sunlight, seeing the clouds, seeing the trees blown in the wind. The neighbors therefore, and they which before had seen him, that he was blind, said, It's not this he that sat and begged, or oh, everyone's not going to be too happy. <laughs> his begging days had came, his begging days came to a close, like blind by the mess. No more begging. No, listen. God knows how to take you off the beggar street, and off the beggar's list, and put you on your two feet again, and empower you. To work and make your own money. Deuteronomy 8.18 It is the Lord your God that gives you power to get wealth or create wealth. That he may establish his covenant. So the people, they could hardly recognize him. Isn't this the man that sat and begged? Isn't this the man who was blind? Some said this is the other said. He looks like him. But the man spoke up and said, I am he. God's about to do something so great in your life. Some people from your past are not going to be able to recognize you for the great miracle that God's about to do. I just dare you to open your mouth and declare it. God is doing something new in me. Type below this video, God's doing something new. He said in Isaiah 43, 19, Behold, I will do a new thing. Shall you not know it? I'll make a way in the wilderness. I'll bring rivers in the desert. Watch this. Therefore said they unto him, How will thine eyes open? <laughs> he answered and said, A man that is called Jesus. Glory to God. You can preach all day long from that right there. A man that is called Jesus made clay and anointed my eyes and said unto me, Go to the pool of Siloam and wash. And I went and washed. And now I receive my sight. I was blind, but now I see. He opened my eyes. He did something in my life that nobody else was able to do. This must be the power of God. The word for you right now is God is doing a new thing in you. Great are you, Lord. Great are 
are you, Lord? Great are you, Lord. Lift your hands to heaven and sing it. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Come on and sing it with me. Great are you, Lord. Come on, lift your voice and sing. Great are you, Lord. <laughs> He's a mighty God. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Come on and sing, church. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Great are you. Listen, I want to give you an opportunity right now to stand with us, so a seed into the kingdom of God. The word of God declares, these are the words of Christ. When you give, because you love the gospel, when you give to support his work, it's coming back to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. It's not a gimmick. It's not a trick. I take everything on the word of God. He loves you and cares about you. Are you hearing me? My God shall supply all, not some, your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Visit us online right now to sow a seed into the kingdom of God. SeanPinder.net forward slash give. SeanPinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is PayPal dot me forward slash sean pinder ministries paypal dot me forward slash sean pinder ministries you can also mail in your donations to the ministry just remember to make your checks and money orders out to sean pinder ministries p.o box 2726 mckinney texas 75070 p.o box 27 26 McKinney, Texas 75070. And never forget, me and my lovely wife, Pastor Amy, we love you guys. We deeply care about you. And the word for you is God is doing a new thing in you. Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Bless your people this morning, God. Sing it. Great are you Lord he is great great are you Lord he's a mighty God great are you Lord great are you Lord he's a mighty God